Welcome to OpenTX. And welcome back. In this episode, we're going to completely assemble the quad, so stay tuned. As you can see, the second screw will secure the camera in its desired location. So for example, if you want like the least degrees, then you put it here and tighten this screw. But we just want a little bit more than that. There we go. And now we tighten this screw and it will not move. So that's nice. Next, we're going to mount it to our frame. Before trying to screw these two screws in, make sure that you can see through those holes, like that. Next, we're gonna mount this piece that acts like the standoffs for the back of the frame. Before we do that, notice that I have two red pieces here. These were printed out of TPU and this is a very simple design I created because the plastic cover that covered this hole disintegrated so I re I'm replacing it with, with these TPU prints. I will link these in the description. This is a very simple design. One goes like this and the other goes on the other side just like that and this will prevent our vtx antenna lock to touch the carbon frame okay so as you can see i screwed the knot in like this far and now I'm gonna add some thread lock. This is blue thread lock. In case I have to replace something, I still can. Only add a very little draw. Like that much. And now we can completely screw it in. Okay, that looks good. Now we're gonna add our antenna thread lock. Okay, that's enough. Okay, that feels very secure. Now we're gonna connect our camera. Next, we're gonna add the two plastic nuts that are missing from our flight controller. Okay, that looks good. Now we're gonna add the cover for our cage. And now we're gonna put our top plate on. And next, as a finishing touch, we're gonna add this that secures the battery to the frame. And now even our battery strap is installed. Next, we're gonna bind it up with our radio and configure everything in Betaflight. So stay tuned. Approximately 10 hours later. Hello, I'm from the future. So the first time around, when we put the top plate on, we tested the battery straps and we found a problem. As you can see, the battery straps would go somewhere here. And as it moves around, it moves the cables around as well, like this. See how the cables are moving around? This may cause some cables to de detach from the flight controller. So I went over to Fusion 360 and designed this. I lasered this out of just some thin plastic I found laying around. This should protect the cabling from the battery strap. Let's attach it and see if it works. Okay, so that feels good. As you can see, it actually does a good job. And none of the cables are moving like before. So let's reattach the top plate. Oh yeah, that feels good. And next, 
we're gonna bind our radio to our receiver install this gopro mount and after we're done we're gonna head on over to the computer and configure everything in betaflight since i already binded this receiver i have to rebind it to show you the binding process for that i have to remove some screws okay now the top plate is off we need to remove these two screws okay now we need to remove the vtx to reach our receiver okay here's our receiver now if your receiver is new then when you start up your quad for the first time it's gonna slowly blink green and then you can bind it up but since i already bind this up i have to rebind it here's our battery i'm gonna plug this in hold this bind button right here and then plug in your okay and then hold it for two seconds let it go and press again and there we have it now it's in binding mode and now we can turn on our radio welcome to open tx you have to long press this button here so you long press and then you go into the crossfire config there you will see your micro tx and then you go down and select bind then it's going to ask you do you want to update your micro rx press enter for yes then the upgrading process will begin and now we are binded now we can go and check out nano rx everything seems to look okay now we can turn off the radio to test our bind receiver still connected it should now be red and now after we connect our radio it should turn green welcome to open tf and done okay so the binding process is now done let's unplug our quad let's turn off the Receiver radio still connected reattach everything to its position make sure all our solder soldering is still good now we're gonna reattach our standoffs here add these four screws that looks good put our top plate back now we're gonna remove this plate so we can attach our gopro mount okay so again this is printed out of tpu so it's flexible filament i designed this in fusion 360 my friend uses a gopro hero 3 which doesn't have a lot of mounts for the chameleon ti so i made one it also accommodates for an extra 15 degrees to have 25 degrees angle on the camera push this carbon piece in it's a very tight fit on purpose again you can find all my models in the description that i use in videos as you can see it's a very tight fit now we're gonna add our screws okay here it is one more final piece and there we have it now we're gonna head on over to the computer and configure everything in beta flight so stay tuned yeah 